Happy birthday, Alan! Because it's your birthday, I know you like food. Though everybody likes food, loves food, who doesn't? But I know one of your favorites is shrimp, so I'm gonna make shrimp kebab for you before you come here. And I'm gonna film it and put it on YouTube today. Guys, I hope you enjoy this recipe. It's very easy and simple. And um, enjoy! So you're gonna need some salt, black pepper, paprika powder, some oil, lime juice, some saute sticks, some shrimp. I have the very small shrimps. You can also use bigger ones, of course. And right here I have onion and red paprika. You can use any color you like, but for shrimp kebabs, I love using the red one. And you can also use veggies such as courgette, eggplant. You're gonna add some salt to your liking, the black pepper and paprika powder, some lime juice, and a little bit of olive oil. So when you grill it, you can also add any kind of herb like oregano, rosemary, and such. But I like using just the onions and the red peppers because it gives it a nice refreshing taste and I love the rawness of shrimps. So I don't like to put too much or else I'll just be eating oregano and rosemary. So there you have it. And then you're gonna mix this together with the onion and the red pepper. You have your saute stick, your shrimp. Make sure that you take the bottom and the top this way it won't hang and then you're gonna add a bell pepper your onion and repeat there you have it <coughs> the shrimp kebabs and of course, if you're not an onion fan or a bell pepper fan or veggie fan, you can make one with only shrimps because YOLO. <laughs> like I say, the onions and bell peppers and veggies, they give a refreshing taste to it. You can uh, put it aside and leave it marinate. So I'm going to put mine aside for about an hour. So after an hour of marinating, you're going to put your pan on fire. <laughs> put your pan on fire. <laughs> um, Yes, put your pan on the fire and I just added a little bit of oil, make sure it gets hot. You can use any kind of frying pan, I like this one, it has the little lines in it. And once it's hot, you add your kebab and you fry it both sides until it's ready to eat. Thank you. 